Hi, and welcome to the Gary O'Connell Show. I'm Gary O'Connell, and I will be hosting tonight's show. Now, as we have seen, this the Redneck Republic has never had a televised newscast uh, gone outside of the Republic before, so this, this will be the first thing for the international community. It will all be cool, so... Hustle down. Drink, drink a freaking root beer. Damn it. All right. So news broke out a couple, or about a week ago that Tammy Timmons, who's been the president of the Redneck Republic for its entire stint as a sovereign nation on this green earth. 14 years has decided that he will not be running in the next election and that brings up the future of the Redneck Republic to be the question. Uh, this all comes after controversy after Acadia which is located in the old territory of Louisiana uh, decided that uh, it didn't want to be Rednecks anymore. Freaking weirdos. But then, uh, yeah, he he decided that he was going to retire. Uh, so, you know, it's not kind of unfortunate. Uh, you know, uh, we have our guest host, or our guest speaker on tonight, um, Jim Falk. Uh, Jim, what are your thoughts on this? Thank you, Gary. Very appreciative of you having me on the show tonight. But basically, you know, he's, as you mentioned, the only president the RR has ever had. He's been in charge of this country for 14 years. And I guess he, 14 years, fit or 15 years as of next year when he plans to not run will be you know 15 years is a long time Gary and you know maybe he just you know 15 years is a long time Gary okay Jim uh, so of course there's that but why would the president do this? Is it just the Acadia controversy or is it something else? I, I just answered that question, Gary. Uh, I'm not sure if you noticed that, but yes, 15 years is a long time. I don't think he, I don't think he wants to be in power anymore, Gary. Like, have you, have you seen pictures of back when the U.S. was a thing? Have you seen that guy called Barack Obama who had like that smooth cut going into the presidency and then he was like an old man when he came out? Jeez, Gary, he's probably like, Timmy Timmons has probably got like, not just white hair, his hair's probably gone by now. I mean, it's not, but still. Uh, anyway. Uh, 15 years is a long time. I mean, there's also the fact that, you know, he has a beautiful place in the middle of nowhere in the state of Pascua, which, like, you know, that's just where he lives with, you know, probably, like, cows and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, back to you, Gary. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. You know what? Kind of feel bad for the guy in a way, but at the same time, like, he's a politician. Politician. You can't trust politicians. That's all I'm saying. Especially when they get into national politics. And then, got this whole mess. And you know what? Half of them got something coming. Like, this next story tonight is uh, about, uh, so... Congressman Tyler Hatcher from 
the terror or from the state of Hamashido decided that he'd go and steal about thirty-five million dollars from the government over the past five years. And now while he spent his eight year stint in Natchez as their mayor, he apparently funneled out over two million dollars and built himself a private yacht that he's been sailing up and down the Mississippi River for about the past 10 years. And then, uh, recently, he accepted a bunch of bribes and then proceeded to divert some money still into his own bank account. And you know what? You know he probably has a devil coming for him. I mean, I mean I'm not too good. We got a new state after Acadia left. We decided we got a little ambitious for some reason. The government annexed the uh, territory of Chickasaw, which is in between the Pearl River and the Tom Bigby River. Uh, and they're all cool now, apparently. We got uh, Meridian, Brandon, and Pearl all up, and they're looking nice. It's a very large territory, and it's supposed to apparently get 10 electoral votes in the next election. It grew super fast. It was unprecedented. Uh, really weird, really. Um, anyway, as always... Don't drink beer. I'm addicted.